What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Hello there. Welcome to the fourth and final installment in my Batfleck utility belt construction and this being the final episode, this is the full final belt assembly. Now, you're probably wondering what's going on here. I'm just gonna jump straight into it. I went to a shop called Clark Rubber, which is a pool, foam, rubber shop, you name it. I don't know what that would equate to on the other side of the world in America and whatnot, but basically they sell pool products, pool care, they sell sheets of foam, rubber, and also neoprene. This is a strip of neoprene. I got four meters of it. I actually did cut it in half. And this is what is gonna be the base for our belt. And neoprene adheres to resin like there's no tomorrow when Loctite is applied. Um, there was PVC and another material that came in a similar sheet like this. But overall, neoprene is gonna work well in terms of strength and lasting the longest. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off with adhering the buckle to the middle here. Now, I've gone ahead and cut out where it's gonna meet the hinge on the side, on either side. Now, if you're wondering why the two squares are here, well, what will happen when we stick this puppy on, we've got some exposed resin here. Now, after our Loctite has set and cured, we're going to go in with some more resin, and we're just going to coat around the outside, just as a bit of insurance, I guess you could say, to make sure that this centerpiece isn't going anywhere once it's being worn and used. Over time, it's not going to come off or start to, you know, peel away. It's going to be there nice and tight. That's what she said. So anyway, without further ado, I've got, we're gonna be using Loctite and some supercast resin to reinforce the back of it. Let's get to it. The capsules have been fixed in place with two screws and some Loctite. They are not going anywhere. Now, last but not least, we got to attach the pouches. Now, for the actual working pouches that are hollow, all I'm going to be using is Loctite. No screws required. And the reason being I use screws for these is because there's only a fine, thin layer of glue going down the back side of these capsules. So you run the risk of these coming off more so than these because this has more surface area, whereas these don't. And as you see here, I've sanded away back to the raw resin because you actually want the Loctite adhering to the resin itself and not the paint. That way it's going to have a stronger bond. So like I said, we're just going to be using Loctite for the first two pouches. However, for the dummy pouches that are a solid resin, we will be using these screws again. We'll be doing one, two, three, four. And I don't know if the camera will pick up. I just marked out with a lead pencil where to place all three pouches. Now, if you do look at the screen used belt that Ben Affleck wears, you notice that the pouches go up just a little bit as they go along. So it has this kind of step thing going on. So that's how I'm going to be attaching the pouches. Alright geeks, all main components of the belt have been fixed on the base neoprene belt right here. As you can see, we've got the three screws on the dummy pouches. So now all that's left to do is to attach the Velcro system at the back. Now usually I would opt for a clip, like a clip release, 
but if you do have to tighten it, it does prove difficult once you're wearing it and you can actually pop your shoulder out as a result and I've nearly done it plenty of times, trust me. So a Velcro system is a lot more easier and if you just want it off, just pull it straight off. So you can see I've got my Velcro pieces here that's already been pre-cut. So what I'm gonna be doing is gluing one piece there and gluing the other piece there like so and it's just gonna overlap ever so slightly like that. Now the downside about attaching Velcro to neoprene, PVC, whatever, it doesn't really work. So what I'm gonna be doing is using a very little dab of Loctite just to adhere it in place and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and rivet the Velcro to the actual belt. Now these are called rapid rivets. These are the rivets I actually use on my Freddy Krueger gloves and they just work for everything. I just don't use them for gloves, I use them for a lot of my props. So I've actually got a leather punch, we're just gonna be using that to punch four holes at each end of the Velcros and then fix them in place with the rapid rivets. And seriously, it's as simple as that and then we're done, we're good to go, we have a finished Batfleck belt, so let's get to it. And there you have it guys, what a journey it was. The Batfleck 3D printed resin casted utility belt is finally complete. Now, if you guys were interested in this belt at all, I will be doing a run of these belts. I'll probably do it in intervals of five. If you are interested, you can contact me at cosplaychris at gmail.com. So thanks very much for watching guys. Like I said, if you had any questions or queries, anything you're unsure about in the whole tutorial from start to finish, please drop a comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. As always, Thank you very much for your continuing support and watching and until next time geeks, please always remember Cosplayers do it best. Are you two the ones making all the noise? Hey Rubes Yeah Ruby Yeah